everyone, welcome to a brand new PR Lost Galaxy 2014 toy review on Hasbro's Power Rangers Lightning Collection Beast Morphers Gold Ranger. Almost halfway done with what, what figures were released in Wave 2, and let's take a look at them outside of the box. Getting halfway there and just only one more Ranger to finish this wave of figures. Even though I'm almost halfway done with Beast Morphers for Lightning Collection until they do Roxy, Beast Morphers Yellow and Silver, and Rebel Blaze and others, even though I'm so far behind on Beast Morphers at the time of this video. But anyway, let's take a look at the Gold Ranger. And here is Beast Morphers Gold with the following accessories. His blaster with a lightning piece because when I was taking these things out of the package, you can visibly try and see the... Uh, the component you know the whole component where you place the lightning piece to the weapon because at first i thought the lightning piece would would work on the sword let's see if it can on both the sword and his blaster and actually it can also as work slightly well with the blaster if uh but of course the lightning piece you know knowing that the the blade to to the gold rangers um weapon is too thin it slides down so basically it is more likely compatible with where is it where's the hole where's the hole where's the hole god i had it earlier it was you have to place the hole oh here it is place the hole and stick that component to his little small blaster gun which is a cool effect because it works better with the gun than it does with the sword because when I was testing this before I was recording this bit that it would work on the saber on his uh, I think his component to the BSEC saber for the main rangers knowing that uh, silver and gold got different similar weapons to the main group um, in the show but again I'm so far behind on beast morphers at the moment but it looks a light slightly better on the gun than it does on the sword but that's just my opinion although it can also work on the sword but it just won't work for some reason but look at that it looks real cool there's just the way how and then just with the 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 streaks to the lighting effect the lightning effect is just so incredible okay um then comes these interchangeable hands. One is a bald fist, and the other is this, you know, woohoo and all this, you know, rock on, or I a pledge allegiance to Spider-Man kind of hand. Like, I know. That was a joke from Linkara's History of Power Rangers on his Mystic Force review, if you remember it. When Remember in uh, Linkara's History of Power Rangers uh, Mystic Force review, when he the, did the, you know, reference to... You know, I pledge allegiance to Spider-Man, and basically, I don't know why, but I cannot believe that the Gold Ranger got a hand like this, doing the rock on um, impression, which is awesome. Actually, let's see how it looks on that figure, on this figure. Let me take the hands. Yeah, this is something I need to get used to with Power Ranger figures with these interchangeable hands, because I'm just not much of a fan of it, but I mind it, but okay. You see, that's the thing because, you know, the hand joints, you know, I just got it. Okay, I got it. Okay, see, now you got um, the Gold Ranger doing the rock on. They're like, rock on, bruh! Uh, if you look at it, yeah, just like that. Uh, let's uh, pose him with that hand, gesture a little bit. I should take a picture of this while I have the chance. Um, yeah, if only if the Gold Ranger was a rock star. Just look at that, guys. Because I don't know why Hasbro gives the Gold Ranger the uh, that that hand. It, it could have been some other posture with the hand. Um, because but that, that that's the thing. As for the figure itself, um, this is a perfect good balance of golden, you know, golden black, black and gold here. Because um, what I did like about the Gold Rangers uh, figure, and although when I do do a review on the uh, basic figures, don't you worry though, the basic figures for Beast Morphers, one of the coolest things that comes out of the uh, this figure is the perfect, authentic uh, painting of gold on this guy, which is probably the best I've ever seen on the on a Gold Ranger in a long time. The last time I seen a Gold Ranger with this good balance of gold like this was probably the gold zeo ranger from like some of his old figures and stuff pre the legacy one and probably the samurai gold ranger 
but I think this is the best colored gold that we can get for our any variety of gold or gold or silver rangers. But until when they do the Beast Morphers Silver Ranger in the Lightning Collection, I'm gonna see how the silver turns out for his uh, figure in the future. But okay, let me take this you know party on you know hand off and back to the regular hand because just to show a little small demonstration of how that worked. And yeah, you, you really got me with that hand, Hasbro. You really got me with that hand. Um, because basically, when I also look at the Beast Morphers Gold and Silver Rangers, something about these suits, compared to the main three, we'll get to the Red Ranger so I can compare him with the Gold Ranger, uh, the stack him up with, you know, stack Devin with Nate. Um, that's the Gold Ranger from Beast Morphers' name. There's something about the Gold Ranger and the Silver Ranger uh, in Beast Morphers, even though it was known in, you know, Beat Buster and Stag Buster and Go Busters first. But something about these helmets. Let me, when you look at it, okay, let's put the focus on a little bit so you can get the full picture and sharpness on them. This helmet looks like something from Kamen Rider for, for Power Rangers and Super Sentai because. One of the things I criticized about Go Buster when before Beast Morphers was a thing uh, for Power Rangers currently, but for Go Buster when it was still the Sentai of this, where whenever I look at these suits and these helmets for these Rangers, they look like something that would belong in Kamen Rider than Sentai or Power Rangers. But that was just me for back then because based on my initial judgment of Go Buster. And in their costumes being all leather and such. And some people would say that the Gold Ranger, from what I heard based on some reviews and stuff, I believe, would say that the Gold Ranger looks like a Beetleborg a little bit because why are you thinking Beetleborg's metallics drew was the went from the blue Beetleborg to the you know the gold the gold one because this looks oddly enough like that gold uh you know, Beetleborg that Drew would be in the in the uh, <clears throat> the Metallic series because I don't know why. You know, for some reason I'm making Beetleborg references the Power Rangers all of a sudden. I don't know what's wrong with me, <laughs> but that's the thing uh, because um, it, it's like a cross between a Beetleborg and a Common Rider, but for a, a, a Gold Ranger. And of course, when we get Silver, when Hasbro makes them in the later wave, like Wave Seven or something. Um, only time will tell. Now, as for Nate's head, it, it would have been good if he came with glasses, but I think him with no glasses is very reminiscent to Billy from MMPR without the, the glasses on in later season two, all of season three, and early in all of Zio. But Nate doesn't need glasses um, for this figure, but if only if he came with glasses, it would have been good. It would have been fine. But now, upon my recording of this video, um, or beforehand, before I recorded this portion, taking the helmet off for him is a little difficult in compared to the Red Ranger last time. Okay, I took the helmet off. But when I was going to put Nate's head on, it just was just so difficult to put his head on um, at first. But let's see how, how I can do it on camera because, okay, I, okay now I got the head on. Good. And basically, Nate without his helmet on looks better. Looks like a little way better. Um, because, let's see, let's take a good close up on him. Even though his head looks a little crooked based on when I snapped his head onto the head joint. And yeah, Nate doesn't look so bad even without his helmet on. Very nice. Backside. Okay. Now let's see how Nate looks while wielding his sword and gun. Probably, I think, whoop. Well, yeah, that's another thing. Because you got to be extra careful putting the the lighting the lightning piece onto the, the, uh, the front joint of the gun. Otherwise, it'll kind of fall off, which is probably one of the few things I find a little disappointing uh, with this. Because um, it's not like with the Beast Morphers Red Ranger where I had to put the... Um, you know, I could easily put the beast, you know, the lightning piece on the beast X saber of his or on his blaster gun. But with the gold ranger, 
I had some difficulties, but I think I'm starting to slowly get the hang of him in my collection. But until I get Beast Morphers Blue, one of the absolute peg warmers of the Beast Morphers and Hasbro's current collection of adult collector figures, because, you know, I'm trying to get uh, his sword into his hand, this hand, because this hand is so clenched, closed for some reason. Hold on. Let me get it. Uh, or actually, how about this? Let's. Nope. This is not going to make sense, though, but close enough. And then here's Nate wielding both his weapons um, his sword and his gun with the lightning piece on top. And look how battle ready Nate looks. Pretty cool, don't you think? <laughs> because. I mean, the more I get more of Hasbro's Lightning Collection for Power Rangers, the better, because it just keeps getting better and better with these toys, because I just wish we had Power Ranger action figures, like I said before, years ago, that I wish we had action figures where we had interchangeable hands and heads, especially when we had the Legacy line uh, earlier, but the Legacy line was focusing more on the build a Megazord pieces and... You know, the basic figures without their individual weapons and stuff, but just their sidearms, which is not great. But luckily, at least Hasbro did, once again, like I said in my past reviews for the Lightning Collection, did something accurately right. Because I just, just, I just love the beauty of these figures. I really do. Now, as we close out the review, let's stack the Red Ranger with gold, uh, helmetless, and basically... The more, the better with Beast Morphers with their figures. Now, all I need to do is get the Blue Ranger and then wait a while for uh, Yellow and Silver to come out. I will get uh, Blaze, you know, the evil Red Ranger of sorts from Beast Morphers because, um, yeah, and because we're getting close to getting more villains uh, uh, slowly. But even though we're going, it seems like the more we get more of the Rangers, the less or more likely and slowly the villains will come out okay and then sta okay basing on the waves we got magda defender from lost galaxy the two beast morpher rangers and just need one more ranger to complete wave two because basically i'm just doing these figures out of order and yeah these guys do look pretty badass standing together oh yeah i gotta take the helmet out of devin's hand and just give him his uh, sword or something because um make it look like he's ready for anything because these figures just keep surprising me every time and yeah i will be picking up more uh of these guys uh very soon and don't you worry because the more the better and the more that just keeps pumping out because um of course the main focus of the lightning collection is you know mostly having mostly mighty morphin coming out uh but in the you know with wave four already out with mmpr yellow zeo blue you know zeo blue blaze and spd red um, I will get those figures and then well once I do do Mighty Morphin I will get finally the original pink ranger Kimberly herself to finish off this wave even though again I'm doing these waves out of order no particular order um, because knowing the fact that I know those figures most of the figures are out already because I'm slowly trying to get my hands on all of these figures as much as possible because um, except for the hard to get figures like that um, Jason Tupac um, but the Fighting Spirit Green Ranger I'll save for later because basically I'm just doing the solo figures per review like I said with these lightning figures for my reviews with my comeback doing toy reviews for Power Rangers and as well as in the future Marvel Legends and some DC Multiverse figures because oh man see and at least oh, man Devin is falling you see at least Dino, at least Beast Morphers, I was about to say Dino Charge, <laughs> Dino Charge Red is my next review, but Beast Morphers Gold at least doesn't have certain, you know, articulation problems like my Red Ranger for Beast Morphers, when I reviewed them last time, at least gold, my Gold Ranger came out just right, but my Red Ranger is still bow-legged and crooked. So yeah, this is it. Almost one more Ranger for Wave 2, but again, I'll probably save the Pink Ranger for later because what I'm going to do is uh, do Mighty Morphin anytime while I'm doing Rangers 
you know, post MMPR. So uh, let me know what you guys think. Subscribe, drop a like, share this video with your friends, and I'm off for now. Anthony on PR Lost Galaxy 2014. It's morphin' time, and thanks for watching.